good morning. Hello. Hi. You're still here. Okay. Well, it's time to take the next step. Good morning, y'all. Well, uh, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. And uh, boy, is it an adventure today. Um, well, the first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and go down to the local feed store and uh, take this stray boy that has showed up, who spent the night on my porch last night, um, down there and see if anybody's looking for him. Uh, so that's the next step in his rescue, so to speak. Um, I do not need another dog. And uh before i take the next steps with him i need to do everything i can to get him back into his loving home of which i'm sure that he has so um just need to advocate for him and see if we can't get him back into the property that he belongs um we have a uh, a work day today. I get to work today, so maybe some dog grooming that I can show you. Um, and of course, you know, just piddling around the farm. We got some weedy whacking to do. Uh, we've got gardens to build. We've got, I mean, we just, we just got all kinds of things. Um, the animals need to go out to their pastures. It looks like again today they're calling for uh, thunder showers all day and there's not a cloud in the sky blue and blue. So going to be another hot muggy day today and let's get to work. Well, no luck at the local store, but now the whole town knows where he's at. So hopefully somebody will come get him. But we're not going to starve him while he waits. We got the sheep girls out and chickens are done. Miss Velvet is enjoying her grain, her morning grain in her pasture. She's all duded up for the bugs along with the fly spray, as always. So they're set for a happy day out on pasture. Alright, morning chores are done the barn is empty and we can move on got the garden watered it's looking moist and lush and now it is time for I've got my cart loaded up ready to go do some weedy whacking and stuff uh, but it's time for me to go to work so we'll check on the animals on our way by Oh, that's grazing. And it looks like the sheep girls are laying down underneath their shade. Those poor big old prego mamas. Sheep don't do super well in the heat anyway, and being fleece sheep, they get hot a little faster. I'm gonna go around here so I can see them all. Yep, they're just relaxing in their shade. Which is good. Hi, Reese's. Don't come out for me, love. I don't have anything for you. <laughs> oh, goodness. She's like, oh, I could eat some. Okay. 
I'll check on you when I'm done grooming this dog. See, Velvet seems to be doing good with her fly blanket today. Horse flies don't seem to be bothering her as bad. And it was kind of nice because I could soak her down with the blanket on and the blanket stayed cool for a little bit longer. So, so far so good on that. And I just saw the calves a minute ago. They're all huddled up in the shade. It's 85 degrees outside. So, let's go to work. Well, wasn't she a beautiful girl? She looked like a little black bear when she was all done. Uh, so she was uh, in need of a good spring grooming. She had tons of undercoat and uh, so we got her all ready uh, for the warm weather that we've been having and she won't be so hot and she just looked adorable. A very, very special, special girl. And then you won't believe what happened. <laughs> It was, um, it's always an adventure around here. Um, so long story short, uh, basically what happened was when mom came to pick her up, uh, she accidentally locked. We don't really know how it even happened. Um, she did not lock the car, uh, but thank God she took, uh, she brought her, um, her other little dog in for me to take a look at uh, for grooming in the future and thank goodness she brought the dog in with her because her car locked her out. Uh, luckily the car wasn't running, luckily there was nobody in it, uh, but basically long story short it was six hours later before we were able to get into the car um, and get her and her beautiful babies back home. Uh, so got to spend some really cool quality time with some really neat folks. Um, coincidentally, she had brought her grandson with her and her grandson wanted to um, help me do chores on the farm. So uh, he did and we had a great time. Uh, it was it was wonderful to, you know, share this lifestyle with him and he just ate it up and loved it and I really enjoyed his company. Uh, and like I said, just it, it's good to take a situation like that where, um, yes, we probably all had other things that we wanted to do today, but I take it as it was really cool to get to get to know better and spend time with really good people uh, that I probably wouldn't have under any other circumstances. I probably wouldn't have had any reason to spend any time with them. Um, and just a really neat, that dog's mom was just absolutely a beautiful person on the inside and the out. And so was her daughter and her grandson uh, and her other dog. So it was a great day. Uh, I took a lot away from today uh, and just feeling very grateful and thankful and blessed to be where I'm at and to continue to be showered with uh, beautiful people coming into my life and onto my property and allowing me to groom their dogs and uh, be one, one little snippet of their life. So lo and behold, um, I got home and it was pretty much dark and there was not much else to do on the farm. Uh, and so this video uh, is going to be pretty short. Uh, I will let you know that uh, before I before I went to work, uh, somebody came and claimed the little beagle 
So word spread around town and everybody was calling everybody and uh, asking them if they were missing their beagles. And apparently we've got some beagle breeders in this town, which isn't surprising because they do a lot of hunting around here. Uh, and somebody came and got him. So he went home to his loving home and they were very thankful for me to keep him and take care of him for the time that I had him. Uh, so that's that's really good news. He is back into his beautiful home and uh, we are back down to our normal number of a lot of dogs. And so there's that. And I guess, you know, uh, today is just another another teaching and another another day that I shared with you to give you an idea of these things don't just happen to you. Uh, everybody's days change and the plans that we had get tossed on their head and something else completely different happens. And things happen and in this case it wasn't a person's mistake because she honest to goodness did not lock her car. but. Um, and I'm sure that these people, honest to goodness, did not leave the gate open to let their dog out. Uh, but both things came to a good end uh, in my eyes and in my vision because that's how I choose to look at it. Uh, I choose to be very thankful for the time that I got to spend with a beautiful family today and show them around my farm. and take care of their dogs and I also feel blessed that I got to be a respite for a little dog that was just out on a run that went a little too far and he found somewhere that was pretty cool to stay until his parents could come and get him and so both of those things I'm super thankful for so don't forget to be thankful don't forget to be, be uh, grateful don't forget to feel blessed. Find the blessings in every day and just keep on trucking. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yours truly.